Hello, this is Mike Kroger, Finale Inventory. In this short video, we're going to cover adding um, automated email reports to your account. So if you ever wanted to have a report automatically scheduled to run and email it to somebody or to yourself at a specific time interval out of Finale Inventory, you can do that. We do that with the email connection. So let's go to our demo account here. And from the home screen, you will see at the top there is a connection link. There's also a connection to your quick links. So this is going to be for using to, to add this type of interface to your account. So we're going to go to connection screen. Now what you need to do is scroll down and you will see run report and email. So this is the email connection. We're going to go ahead and add this to the account. Once you've added it to the account, it's asking it to give for you to give it a name. And you can call this whatever you want, but uh, you know, leave it as like email. So maybe you can say email my reports. Okay. And then once you give this connection a name, then you need to add a report. So we call it a, a report task, but basically each task is going to be a separate report. So you can schedule multiple reports to be running or to be delivered. Um, on a schedule um, at your choosing. So we're going to go ahead and add a report task. So once we add the report task, you give the task a name. So maybe, you know, you could name this task maybe related to the report that you're going to schedule. That way you know the difference between each one of the tasks. So I would name it kind of the same as the report. So maybe we want to email the um, shipment summary. So I may say, I'm going to give this a, a name of, um, you know, email shipment summary. So as I click on the edit button, you can edit that label. So here I'm going to say um, email shipment summary. And notice that right here at the task, at the top, it says task run mode. So it starts off as disabled, which means it's not going to run at all. So you can then turn this task on and you can say, okay, I want this to manually run, which means you have to come to the connection screen and you have to actually run it. Or you can pick the time that you want it to run. So let's say we want it to be delivered to us every uh, day at midnight. So we can choose that. So now this is this is setting up when the report is going to run. We've given it a name, email the shipment summary. Now we have the report option. This is where you actually pick the report that you want to use. So when you hit this drop down, it's going to basically give every report that's on the reports page. So it's the same reports that are over here on the reports page. So if we find the uh, shipment summary report, maybe that we that matches this. So that's kind of what we want to. Um, to email. So we're going to do this uh, sales shipped by product report. So we're going to choose that report. Then you also can select the format that you want it to be emailed in. So it defaults to the JSON format, which is a uh, more of a data format. You can choose to have it delivered in a CSV or an Excel format or a PDF. So if we're just going to email it to our inbox and we just want to see that in our inbox, then I'm just going to choose the PDF format. Now you have to type in the email and you can you can provide your email address or somebody else's email address. You can put a, a subject and a, and a body message and that's what's going to appear and compose in the email. Now you need to make sure you test what you type in here. So for instance, if I typed in an email address like me at me.com and I test it, you'll see that you're going to get a syntax error on the on the to address okay well what you need to uh, remember here is you need to put quotation marks around the emails anything you put in these boxes so if I put a quotation mark now it'll actually come out okay so I'm just gonna send this to me at me.com I can give it a subject remember to put your quotation marks uh, daily shipments summary and then I can say anything I want in the body of the format uh, make sure you put quotation marks around that here 
is the report and preview it. Make sure you don't have any, any syntax errors. So everything looks good. So we're good to go here. So now that you've done that, you can hit Save Now. And once you've saved it, go back to your connection screen. And you will now see the task that you added. We call it Email My Reports. We have Email the Shipment Summary. And you can see that when it's gonna when it's gonna run, and then you can look and say if you need to change it, you can edit that task. So this is a specific report task. You can make it run right now. Uh, you can go change the parameters. Maybe the either the output type. Maybe you change your mind. And you want it to go to Excel. You can go back in and edit that. Now, if you want to disable this entire uh, connection, meaning you don't want um, the report to go at all, you can edit the connection here. You can um, delete the report. You can add another report. This is where you would do that. That's how you add an, a scheduled email report.